to tell but I think I think it might be a Henry the third it's not much ladies and gents but it's okay and it shows how well preserved the artifacts might be once I get into them or the coins but that is a bit of a crotal bell nice decorative crotal bell smashed to pieces but that is uh, 1700 crotal bell I think in date, say 300, over 300 years old probably. Hopefully we find some more bits and pieces. Getting a lot of shotgun shells and tin at the moment, but we get through that, we get to the good stuff. Ladies and gents, bit of a thimble now. That was a nine on the uh, mount of core. Just a broken bit of thimble, so I uh, thought I'd show you that. Is something, it's not special, but better than a shotty. Ladies and gents, I just had a solid 40 signal, really nice, crisp, um, sort of medium higher tone. And uh, it's just there. You see that? Just pick it up, it's a disc shaped. Might even be a hammered or a jetting, so uh, this is why I'm showing you. Give it a little, looks like a hammered coin to me. Ladies and gents, what a, what a surprise that is. I've had so much rubbish and then this pops out. <laughs> you just never know. Right, I'm gonna clean this for you. Looks like a half groat. Let's get this nice and wet. You don't want to rub the uh, mud against silver in case it's a valuable coin you don't want to scratch it so nice to get it nice and wet first in distilled water and then just give it a nice little gentle wipe with your fingertip nice and gently not pressing that mud against it Yeah, it's a London Mint. It's either a groat or a half groat. I think it might be even a, mm, not sure. I think it's heavily clipped, so it might be a groat, but. And usually, I think, well, it's hard to tell, but I've had an Edward the Third groat that looks similar to this, albeit a bigger, so. That was a full flan. But you can just about see the king now coming through. Needs a little bit of work just to get it a bit more cleaned up. But you can see the king's crown and bust. I'll get it ID'd properly, but that has made my day today. I'll give it a little search around this area now. Beautiful. This is a rare Henry IV groat with only 17 recorded. While the reverse is a Class A, supposedly minted under Henry V, many coin experts believe that types A and B for Henry V are actually issues for Henry IV. All are minted during 1412 to 1413, which is when this was minted. The reverse is Spink 1728, while the reverse is 1759. There is a Spink crossover mule entry for exactly this muling, which is Spink 1760. Just there. Well, actually, no, it's a ring of some kind. Just check these all the time you find these. Just check, make sure they're not a brooch, but that isn't. That's just a copper ring, fairly modern. 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not saying this is, but this sound is, sounds very much like that hammered coin I had. And it's only a metre away. And it's only three points off 40, which was the other one. But the other one was heavily clipped. <laughs> and it's just your customary musket ball, ladies and gents. Every time I find a musket ball, that's the first and the last I'll show you. But that signal was very similar to that hammered coin. In fact, let's get the hammered coin out and just give you an idea of what it sounded like. crisp as you like that was like that in the ground so uh absolute pure signal on that so it must have been laying quite flat in the ground and only about five or six inches down so they are there ladies and gents keep pl plowing away at them fields and you'll find your own if you haven't already that is let's carry on right this is about eight inches down ladies and gents you can just see it just about there, it's a coin. Just a little shot for you. Let's pick it up. And that is a Queen Elizabeth coin. Five pence, is it? What is it? Quite deep. Ten pence. An old, old ten pence. Ladies and gentlemen, this came up about a nine on the uh, Equinox. And I weren't expecting too much, but it looks like a bit of wire, which is formed into something. Looks like a clip. I mean, this has definitely been something in the past. Just trying to... Give it a bit of a clean for you. Just to see if you can uh, ID it before I do, but yeah, that's uh that looks like it's been a, a clip. But as to what it was, I do not know. What do you reckon, ladies and gents? Perhaps put it in the comments if you do know. Interesting. I'm going to say it's Georgian. See if you've got a better guess. Second thoughts, that is a leather stud. It's a, it's a stud going through leather. Not a shotgun shell. So that's quite old. Don't know how old, but you can see. Still got the leather attached. Another squeaker, ladies and gents. Sixty-two. Yes, yeah, deep. I'm going to come back to you. Right, I can see it. it's a coin, a milled coin. Just, just there, oh, under my fingers. Let's get it out. There you go. Probably about eight inches, that one. Needs a bit of a soak. It's a bit crusty. Mm, either a Georgian or a Victorian. But I can't tell at the moment. It looks more Victorian. So late 1800s maybe. Let's carry on. Not far off, ladies. 1910, you can read that there, look. 1910. So that'll be George V, I think. Something like that. 
terrible around these dates, but yeah, I think I'll be around George V. Very crusty though, so uh, can't reveal any of the bust at the moment until we get the pencils on it and uh, get some detail out of it. Carry on. If you're new here and you want a chance to win this special edition t-shirt, please subscribe, comment new subscriber in the video comments, and also tell me what size you are and you could be picked at random to win this special edition t-shirt. Ladies and gents, I find so many of these scattered around. Them little tarpaulin things, rings. But there is two in situ on a piece of rope, look. So uh, I always think they're World War, but who knows? Might be a bit of World War rope. There you go, just want to show you that, because I know I've found them in situ before. Cool beans. All right, just had a deep 23 signal, about 12 inches you can see there. And uh, it's just over here, deepish tone. Might be a jetting. Just having a look now. Possibly a jetting. So that's more than likely. Have a look. Yeah. Copper token or a jetting. Maybe even a copper token would be more realistic. 1700s copper token. But it could be 15, 1600s. Who knows? It's gone past this date. Yeah, that's sell by date, by the way. <laughs> Let's carry on, see if we can get some Roman. Need a Roman coin or something today. I was uh, expecting something along that era, so uh, we'll keep going. Ladies and gents, it's got a nice uh, little button, about 10 inches deep. It's like a little military button, I think. Got a little crown in the middle there. Not sure what it says. What does it say, say on there? Um, Royal something? Royal, I think this is Royal something on there. Thought I'd show you that. Don't show you many buttons, so uh, that was a nice one. All right, just had a really high screecher, 85. It's just in the side wall. I think it's going to be a coin, a milled coin. Let's have a look. in here somewhere. There it is. See that rim? Right, I think that probably by the shape of it intentionally shaped like that and I think it might have been a brooch. Possibly. Just looks like it's been uh, bent intentionally like that shape. So I'm thinking that might be a brooch. I'm just looking at it closely. Seeing if I could see any telltale signs on it. Can't really, but that's what I'm going to say. Some kind of brooch. Ladies and gents, just a quick one. Don't know what this is. It's lead. It's been formed in two parts because that bit on the top has been soldered onto that bit of lead, but I don't know what it is. Probably nothing, but thought I'd show you. It's very delicate. The lead's sort of deteriorated over the years. Thoughts in the comments, please. Ladies and gents, no signal here. Ready? That's a 70.
Right. I'll tell you what, it's not a coin, it's a buckle. Victorian. Yeah, proved me wrong, but there you go, a buckle. 12 inch. Ladies and gents, just a little bit of bronze, or a nice bit of bronze actually. Don't know what it was, but um, there was Roman up there on that hill, so uh, maybe it's a Roman bit of bronze, but who knows? It's been shaped into something. I thought it was like, like a horse's head to start with, but it isn't. Either way, it's old. Just thought I'd show you that one. I have something here, ladies and gents. It's like a little token or something, like a little lead one. Let's uh, see what details on it. I'm not sure what it is. What do you think? I've had something similar before up in Cumbria, but with less detail on it. So uh, I don't think it's a bag seal, but I will do. I will check. But yeah, unusual. Very nice. I spy my little eye. Just had something down in the hole there. I think it's a Roman brooch. I think. Let's pick it up. It's gotta be. Gotta be. It is. Beautiful. That's a big chunky one as well. I thought I must have some Roman today and there it is. What a sight. That is a beauty. Early as well. I think that's probably first century. So close to Iron Age. Still got a bit of the spring on there. It's a bit sharp. But yeah, I've had a, I've had a bit of Iron Age in the next field and loads of Roman. So well, say loads, but quite a bit of Roman on a, on a particular spot, not far from here. So that is brilliant. Made my day, along with that hammered. Awesome. Ladies and gents, just had this. I do recognise it, but can't quite pin what it is. I think it's, it's either a strap end or a buckle plate. I think it might be a buckle plate with the loop. The loop would have come over there. I think it's snapped off. But age-wise, I'm not sure. Not far from that Roman brooch, so uh, it could be Roman. Who knows? Nice little thing, though. Pity it's not complete, but happy with that as well. The end of the day is getting near, but we are finding the gear. Looks an old one, ladies and gents. Spindle wall. So, uh, I'm gonna say, it's hard to date these, but I'm gonna say that's Roman. With what I'm finding, so, uh, that it's very, Square like shape, like a weight I found right near a Roman brooch about two months ago. So I think that's sort of a similar nature thing. Very nice. Roman spindle wool, lovely jubbly. Ladies and gents, the day keeps getting better. Got a little cut half there, came up as a 23. Not sure if it might be a shotgun shell. It's just there, look. 
That's, uh, that was in a mud ball, so I just uh, started filming once I knew what it was. And uh, yes, cut half silver medieval penny. Let's have a look. Spindle wall, spindle wall that I had might be medieval because this isn't far away from that either. So uh, a lot of iron here. So I'm winkling out between the iron at the moment. Right, I don't want to rub that. I'm going to have a look off camera and come back to you. It's got to be 12, 1300s, I would have thought, in date. So uh, let's see what it can reveal once it's cleaned up. It's hard to tell, but I think I think it might be a Henry the Third. Think it's a short cross. Let me just check. Yeah, I reckon Henry the Third. And I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb. I think it might be a Norwich mint coin. I think I could read Norwich or some form of Norwich on that side there. So. Very nice. Short cross Henry the Third, and this I've popped up on the screen what it actually is. <laughs> Let's crack on. Just had another brooch, ladies and gents. This one's a bit more different. You tell us a brooch. Yeah, not sure on that one. It's got some silver wash on it. I reckon that's early. It's got to be first century, hasn't it? What do you reckon? Very, very nice. I'm going home in a minute because it's going to rain, but I keep just finding things in this little area here. So, coming back next week. <laughs> Beautiful little silver wash brooch. Hopefully I've ID'd it by the time I finish this clip. Lovely jubbly.